Hello YouTubers! This video is a small demo on how to create block FC that returns a result or doesn't return a result in SCL language. So what is a function or FC block in other words? FC block is a logic block which has no assigned memory area, so it doesn't require an instance uh, data block to compare it to the function block. FC block can return a result, in other words, it uh, can return a value to the point from which it was called. So if you assign a variable, a variable to the function, it will return its value as a result. There is another type of uh, the function that does not return a, re a result, it's uh, called void. So let's have a quick look at uh, the structure of the function. Here we have uh, a function identifier, then here is a data type specification, uh, here is uh, a declaration section where you declare all your variables, and here is a code section and end of uh, the function. Uh, for that purpose, Siemens uh, has created a, has implemented uh, templates of blocks, so you can select them from the menu, insert and block templates. Okay, so first of all, uh, let's create a function that returns a value. So create a new, create a new project. Uh, with uh, some hardware, I am using uh, CPU S um, CPU S7 315 series, and then go to the sources and insert new uh, SCL source from the menu. Insert then S7 software and SCL and uh, SCL source file. So. Uh, a new SCL uh, source file will be created with a default name. You can change it to to any any name you want to. I will leave it as a default. Okay, double click our newly created source file to open it. Okay. So now we need to create uh, a our FC block. As I have already mentioned, uh, for that purpose Siemens uh, has uh, created templates. So just uh, go through the menu, insert, block template, and select FC. So now we have uh, here we have our uh, function FC block template. Let's name it as FC. FC1. Okay, now let's add uh, some variables. Okay, so we have created uh, three, three input variables of uh, type of integer. Now let's, uh, let's write our code. It will be a very simple function. So let's go, let's write it here fc1 and 
the result will be something like Okay, I think that's enough. Now let's compile our block. So compilation shows that uh, there are no errors nor warnings. Okay, so let's save it. And now we need to add a, a data into our symbol table. So I will add an integer type of data to save uh, the result of our function. Okay. Alright, now we need to call this uh, function in our OB1. So again, insert uh, the OB template into our SCL source. OB1, rename it to OB1. Okay, and let's call our FC1 in OB1. So to do that, uh, as you remember, this uh, FC block returns a value, so to call it properly, we need to write this code. Okay, now let's write some values for our input variables. So, okay, so the call statement looks like that, everything looks, let's try to compile our blocks and as you can see both blocks have been compiled and no errors or warnings are present. Okay, let's save it and uh, download to the PLC. Alright, now let's create a variable table to see the result of our FC okay so we have got a value of 91 Okay, now the next step is to create a function that does not return anything. So again, let's uh, add, uh, insert a FC block template. Let's rename it to FC number two. Okay, now let's add some variables.
Okay, I ha we have created our variables. Now it is very important thing uh, to make sure that uh, function is uh, doesn't return any any value any any result. Here we need to write void. Okay. So now our function doesn't return any anything. Okay. So let's write now some simple code for our output values. Okay, our uh, FC block number two has been finished. Now let's compile it. Oh, we have an error. Ah, okay. Semicolon is not needed here. Okay, now everything is okay. Let's save it and now we need to add again some data types in our in our symbol table Okay, so our symbol table is finished. Now we are good to call our FC2 in OB1. So as uh, this uh, FC does not uh, does not return any value, so its call looks like that. Okay, so so we have finished our functions and we have finished our call of them in OB1. Now let's try to to compile everything to see for the errors. So there are no errors or warnings. Let's save it and upload to the PLC. Okay. Right now, let's go to see the result. And Twelve and three words. Okay. So as you can see, we have our function fully working. It returns some values depending on our inputs okay then so you that was uh, basics of the creating and calling FC blocks that return value or does not return anything thank you for watching